Welcome to CommercialDoorAndHardwareInc.com, America's trusted source for all your commercial door hardware needs. Ontramatic's DTEC HA8LP Low Energy Door Operator is easy to install. A complete installation manual is included in the box. You'll need some common tools and possibly a few fasteners such as wood screws or sheet metal screws. The unit arrives pre-assembled for shipping, but it needs to be disassembled before installation. Pop off the cover to reveal the motor and gearbox as well as the control board. Remove the screws from the four corners of the control board and set it aside. Then remove the motor gearbox assembly. Mount the spindle opposite the label side for a right hand installation. Or in our case, we'll mount the spindle on the label side for a left hand installation. This example is a push installation so the header box will mount flush with the bottom of the top jam. Mark and drill the center position first and attach with an appropriate screw. Check to be sure the box is level with the bottom of the jam. Then mark, drill, and insert a minimum of six screws to firmly attach the box to the header. Proper anchoring is important for safety, operation, and warranty. See section two of the manual for full details. Next, temporarily install the cover and mark the gearbox at the center of the gear opening. Remove the cover. This mark becomes a guide to help place the gearbox in the proper location. Just line up the gear to the mark, move the sliding nuts to match the three mounting holes, and attach with the supplied M8 by 18 socket cap screws with two 5 16 inch lock washers. Be sure to check the alignment of the gear with the mark before tightening the screws. Mounting the control panel is even easier. Place the panel in the track next to the gearbox. Move the sliding nuts into position and insert the screws. Next, make the motor harness connection between the motor and the control board. For our left hand installation, We'll connect the wiring harness to the left 4-pin connector. Plug in the back check and latch wire lead to the 3-pin connector on top of the board. To attach the operator switch, feed the wire through the end plate and behind the control board. Then connect the bare ends of the three wires to the connection block. Red in the slot marked on, black to off, and white to the hold open slot. To mount the push arm, begin by drilling two holes for the arm block. The first hole should be 14 inches from the hinge edge of the door and two and a quarter inches down from the top. Screw the arm block into place. Slide the main handle of the arm assembly onto the drive shaft at about an 80 degree angle with the door. Now bring the rod and sleeve together. Mark the rod one inch beyond the second set screw. Remove the arm and cut at this mark. After the rod is cut to length, reattach and this time slide the rod inside the sleeve. Use a 1 8 Allen wrench to tighten the set screws. Now, with the door at the fully closed position, remove the main handle from the spindle. Next, flip the operator switch to the hold open position and allow the spindle to turn until it stops. Then, push the door to its fully open position and reattach the handle to the shaft, securing with the screw and washer. Set the switch to automatic, allowing the door to close under spring pressure. Then, tighten the set screw in the handle. To install the HA8LP with a pull arm, the back plate is mounted higher on the door jam one and three eighths inches from the top of the door. The gear and motor assembly is always mounted on the hinge side of the door, which means this left hand pull arrangement requires the motor on the right and the control board on the left. Otherwise, the mounting and wiring is the same as the push setup. 
Again, allow the spindle to spin to its internal stop position. Attach the pull or Z-arm to the spindle at a 90 degree angle with the door. Attach the roller and tighten with an Allen wrench. Release the hold open and the arm should move to the closed position. Slide the track onto the roller until the roller is at the center of the track. Secure to the door with the two screws and cover the screws with the end caps. Some HA8LP closers feature a universal arm that can be used in both push and pull arrangements. As before, move the operation switch to hold open and allow the spindle to spin till it stops. However, in this case, we'll have the door open to 90 degrees so the arm can be mounted right along the top of the door. Attach the roller through the hole in the end of the arm. Mark the spot where the roller would touch the door. Remove the arm and close the door. Then, reattach the arm parallel with the closed door. Again, mark the spot where the roller would touch the door. These two marks illustrate the travel of the roller during the door swing and must be within the universal track after mounting. Now, remove and remount the arm in the fully open position. Slide the track onto the roller and attach the track to the door in a position that will cover the full travel of the roller from open to close. Place the end caps on the track to cover the screws. Allow the door to close and tighten the arm on the spindle with the socket cap screw. This is a good time to adjust the back check setting. Section 4 in the manual gives full detailed instructions and there's a helpful diagram sticker attached to the gearbox. Trigger the door several times while adjusting the upper magnet. The proper setting should slow the door, or back check, at about 10 degrees before it reaches fully open. The same idea applies to latch check function. This time adjust the lower magnet so that latch speed begins 10 degrees short of fully closed. A number of additional functions can be adjusted directly on the control board, including opening speed and activation time, among others. Set the program run switch to the program position. Choose the function to be adjusted with the pass button on the left. Then choose the desired setting with the set button on the right. Be sure to set the switch back to run once programming is complete. The manual has a full list of the many functions and settings available with the HA8LP. A convenient activation switch allows the door to be triggered right from the control board. The HA8LP is compatible with most activation devices. To connect, pull the wire in through an access hole in the back plate, feed the wires to the connection block, and make the connection. Each connection is clearly marked and there is additional information in the manual. To complete installation of the HA8LP, place the cover over the closer, being sure it fits completely over both end plates. Finally, put the yellow caution sticker and the wheelchair accessible sticker on the door between 38 and 62 inches from the finished floor. The DTEC HA8LP is ready for use. Thanks for watching. For any additional questions or concerns, feel free to contact us at sales at commercialdoorandhardwareinc.com.